The way this story has captivated the nation has many wondering, why not the same media attention when people of color go missing? Well, the answer actually has a name, missing white woman syndrome, the term coined by the late and great Gwen Ifill to describe the media and public fascination with missing white women like Lacey Peterson or Natalie Holloway, while ignoring cases involving missing people of color. Joining me now is Derricka Wilson, co-founder and CEO of the Black and Missing Foundation, and Lynette Gray Bull, founder of Not Our Native Daughters, an organization created for the awareness of the missing, exploited, and murdered indigenous women and children. Thank you both for being here. You know, I, uh, I, I, I bring up this point because there's a case that's so similar. A, a journalist friend of mine, um, Derricka, sent me this this story about a young, uh, uh, you know, about some other people that are missing. There's one guy whose name is Daniel Robinson. Daniel Robinson uh, is a young black man. He's only 24 years old, five foot eight, 165, black hair, brown eyes. That's his description. His dad has hired a private investigator to find him. Um, he's missing part of an arm. He was last seen driving away from his job site in the Buckeye, Arizona desert on June 23rd. And his case struck me because it's it's very similar. He's missing in a, this, you know, the same part of the world. Um, it's a case that it has all of that same kind of sizzle, this sort of mystery of it, this young man uh, who just goes missing. It, I never heard of it until this friend of mine sent it to me. Uh, and I guess that's sort of, that's the issue, isn't it? It is definitely the issue. And we have been sounding the alarm for nearly 14 years because of this. When it comes to missing persons of color, men, women, and children, our cases are not taken seriously. And no one is looking for us if we were to go missing. Black girls and women, and I don't know if everybody knows this or not, represent an outrageously disproportionate percentage of the number of people who are missing in America. And black girls and women represent 7% approximately, and I've really researched this. This is being ignored by the media. This is actually being ignored by the media. 7% of the population, almost 40% of the missing persons cases. And I'm gonna say that again, black girls, and women represent 7% of Americans, but 36.7% of missing persons cases. And that is not okay. You will not hear the names like Elizabeth Smart and Natalie Holloway of a black. Can you name one single black girl that's missing? I can't, okay? Like the public figure, Sean King says, we don't see primetime television specials on them, we don't see their images in the, as permanent fixtures on Twitter. We don't see their names in hashtags or trending topics. Nationwide manhunts or search parties don't ensue. This is from Sean King. Crying black parents pleading for their children are not found, interrupting our sitcoms or on news shows, okay? But the percentages are out of control, completely out of control, okay? Almost 40%. I see more missing white girls, and, and we should have. We should see them. But we should also see if there's 40% children and, and women of color, we need to be seeing those too. Um, very, very upsetting. Um, so this is something that, that the media has just really, really um, dropped the ball on. One of the most disturbing pieces of information I read when I was doing this research was that um, this mis the mystery of disappearing has heightened since 2016 when Donald Trump won the presidency and the subsequent rise in nationalism and white supremacy. We live in a society where we do what's trending. When people go missing, there is a huge disparity between media coverage of pe when people of color go missing and when white people and the wealthier you are, the more coverage you get, whereas all people matter. I believe white kids should absolutely get coverage, but when 40% of the missing girls and women are black or kids of color or women of color, and they're, they're getting nothing. I had trouble finding stuff on this. Um, according to the Center for um, American Progress, the minority youth that are missing, 30% of them are connected somehow to the LGBTQ community. And that is showing like a double 
whammy for racism and bigotry. Sean King is making people aware of this, but I really couldn't find a lot. And I was, I was blown away. Um, they say there's a sense of distrust, obviously, with law enforcement. So what happens is the parents go to them and it's problematic. They were out, outright racist attitudes that this, this organization found. Um, what they did was they were more likely to say that the kids were runaways. And when your category says a runaway, it's a whole different category. They put less time, less effort into looking for them. Um, the extremely sick stereotype that young uh, black teens and people of color are sexually promiscuous is like a whole, so they think, oh, they're probably out doing something. I mean, they basically take all of their sick biases to force these statistics. It's, they would categorize the black kids as runaways. And Oprah Winfrey show um, did a special on missing black girls and there was some kids that were missing for a long time. She did her show and the child was found the next day. So media matters. This isn't just like, well, they're not talking about us. No, when you talk in the media about a missing child and thousands and thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people hear it, you get better results, duh, right? Than if nobody hears it. This is not rocket science. This is the facts. And when our media chooses to not talk about our black girls and black women who are taken or I don't care what happened to them, they matter and media needs to get on the ball because that's sick.